So I've just come from Gladysvale uh, over to Rising Star, which is probably about an hour's trip or so to get over here, and was looking at some of the material prepared. And uh, Zandile has been working on a specimen from Gladysville that we found uh, last week, uh, trying to see whether it's hominid, but had showed me a specimen that's been being prepared from 105 uh, for quite a while. And I want you to see it because it really does look like a very exciting specimen. So let me turn the camera around. And here you can see Zandile hard at work. <laughs> that's, that's a Gladysville specimen. It's actually a, a, a small tooth. Um, we don't, it's primate for sure, but we're not sure if it's hominid or not. The roots are looking a little bit short. But what's exciting is she showed me this specimen, um, which I hadn't seen in, in quite a while. And I know for now it's going to look like a little, uh, just a lump of things, but I'm going to try and show you what I think I'm seeing right here. Um, the bone in question here is this bone that is here, 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 and here. And let me bring a comparative specimen over, and I'll show you what I think. This is a hominid pelvis, and it's an Australopithecine pelvis. And so when I hold this specimen next to this specimen, you can begin to see, perhaps, what I'm seeing. I think this area... It's the same as this, which is the auricular surface, which goes, uh, attaches to the sacrum. This then would be the top of the ilium, which would correspond with this area here. Here you can, you can come down and look and see that morphology is the same as we move down here. This ball that you see right here is actually full of sediment. What I believe that is, is I believe that's the acetabulum. That's where the femur fits in. Here's the other side. You can see the, the acetabulum. I think that's the back of the acetabulum there. And then we come back up and around at the specimen. So I actually think what we've got here is a small australopithecine size pelvis. It's almost identical in size uh, to this particular specimen, which would be very, very exciting. There's another part of what looks like uh, the blade of an ilium, and then there's some long bones that pass through, which may be associated with this, but that'll be very, very exciting. If it is uh, uh, hominid pelvis, it is obviously uh, shaped very much like what we would expect to see a a, uh, a biped's pelvis uh, look like. So it's looking really good. It's going to be a trick to come out because it has to be prepared now from the other side, um, which means removing all of that rock very, very carefully. But Zandile can do it, can't you, Zandile? Yes, <laughs> all right, that's great. Thank Just you. showing you some of the new discoveries from 105 and from Gladysville, and we'll keep you updated uh, as we go along.